Hello, and welcome to another ghost story from around the world. And today's ghost story is going to be all about Drugs Home Castle in Denmark. Drugs Home Castle can be found in Zealand, Denmark, and was originally built in around the year 1215 as a palace for the Bishop of Roskilde. And during the Middle Ages, it was modified into a fortified castle. During the period between 1536 to 1664, the castle was used as a prison, and in the large tower at the northeast corner of the castle, prison cells were made and equipped with toilets and windows, depending on the prisoner's crimes, behaviour, and the seriousness of the insults that they had directed towards the king. One of the first prisoners to be held at the castle was the Bishop of Roskilde himself, who owned the castle at the time. In 1694, the castle was sold to the nobleman Frederick Christian Adela, who rebuilt the castle in the Baroque style seen today. The Adela family line died out in 1932, and the castle was passed on to the Central Land Board, which sold it to the Bocca family. Today, the Baroque style of the castle remains intact but the interior of the castle has been subject to restorations and modernisations over the years. The most recent taking place just after the First World War. In recent years, the Bocca family have managed the running of the castle as a hotel, a restaurant and an attraction. Numerous witnesses have claimed that there are three ghosts that reside here. The Grey Lady, a white lady and the ghost of James Hepburn, the fourth Earl of Bothwell, and also the third and final husband of Mary Queen of Scots. Known simply as Lord Bothwell, as Lord High Admiral of Scotland, he sailed around Europe and during a visit to Copenhagen in around 1559. He fell in love with Antrons, a Norwegian noblewoman. After their marriage, they left for Flanders, where Bothwell ran out of money, and he convinced Anna to sell all of her possessions and to further ask her family for more money. Eventually, Bothwell ditched Anna, and in February 1566, he married Lady Jean Gordon. He was seen as a troublesome noble within the Scottish Royal Court and was later accused of intriguing against the Crown. For this he was imprisoned in Edinburgh Castle before he escaped and joined Queen Mary. The two grew close but in 1567 he was in trouble again, this time for murdering the Queen's consort and second husband Lord Darnley. It was around this time that he and Lady Jean were divorced after he had an affair with one of her servants. Lord Bothwell was soon acquitted for, Dar for Lord Darnley's murder, and eight days after his divorce went through with Lady Jean, he married Queen Mary. Their marriage divided the country, and after an uprising which commenced on 15th of June 1567, he fled and never saw his wife again, who shortly afterwards was deposed from the Scottish throne. Lord Bothwell fled to Scandinavia, where he hoped to raise an army to win back the Scottish throne for his wife. But instead he was arrested in Norway for not having the correct papers and was escorted to the port of Bergen, the native home of his first wife, Anna. She raised a complaint against him and sued him for abandoning her and for the return of her money. However, she must still have had a soft spot for him as he was able to convince her to take his ship as compensation. And with that, he was released from custody. However, King Frederick II of Denmark had heard that the English crown was looking for Bothwell in connection with the murder of Lord Darnley. And they took him back into custody again. With that, he was sent to Drugsholm Castle, where he was placed in a room and chained to a pillar and legend has it that his captors 
gave him just enough food and water to keep him alive. It is said that in the end he went insane and he died on April the 14th, 1578, aged 44 years old. The ghost of Lord Bothwell is said to ride through the courtyard with a full horse and carriage. And visitors have also heard the sound of horses' hoofs beating on the cobbled yard. One of the most popular ghosts at the castle is the White Lady, and many believe that she is the ghost of Selina Bothwell, the daughter of a nobleman who had lived at the castle towards the end of the 1600s. Selina was said to be married off into another family of nobility, but she did not want this as she was in love with a commoner who worked at the castle. Her father knew of the relationship and he allowed it on the promise that his daughter would do the right thing and retain Cain for her to get married. However, Selina did everything she could to stop the wedding from going ahead and this soon began to anger her father. When she began to show signs of pregnancy after sleeping with her lover, her father held a celebration party where she was drugged and imprisoned within the walls of a dungeon in the castle. It is said that young Selina could be heard scratching at the bricks and crying until eventually she fell silent. In the 1930s, workmen repairing the plumbing at the castle discovered a skeleton wearing a white dress imprisoned in a wall. Witnesses say that the white lady walks around the castle looking for her lover and occasionally moans in sorrow because she cannot find him. The third ghost that is said to reside at the castle is the Grey Lady, who is said to have been a young woman who used to work at the castle. One day she arrived at work with a painful toothache. The master of the castle is said to have gave her a poultice, a cure the toothache, but shortly afterwards she died. It is said that she haunts the castle so as to look to perform good deeds to show her master her gratitude for his good deed of relieving her of her pain. Another short but spooky ghost tale for you all, which I hope you enjoyed. And as usual, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And that concludes today's video. Thank you so much. Take care. Sleep well. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed books bite.